Durango, Colorado, today on Colorado Martini Living. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a minute of Colorado Martini. marvelous time in Durango. We're just going to walk up the streets and go through the shops. So we've eaten at Ken and Sue's last time we were here and that is really, really good. That was, good food. Yeah, that was like one of the best meals we had last time we were here. Um, and they have this really nice patio in the back. So the one thing about Durango is it has the best food. I haven't had a bad meal in this place. Um, it has everything from Thai food to Mexican. Um, this beef country, baby. Colorado <laughs> beef. It's, it's known for its food. Um, so definitely make reservations if you come up here in the summer because it does get busy. We are at the General Palmer, so let's go in and take a look. Hello, how are you? Pretty good. We stayed here once before and we just kind of wanted to come back in and take a look if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. It is such a wonderful uh, architecture. <laughs> like, is this um original? I'm not sure about that. It's beautiful. Wonderful seating area. And sit in here and read. The train is right to my right. So it's a nice place to stay. They have a nice computer area. And you can sit here and work on your laptop and Watch the train go by. It's very there nice. It is now. <laughs> so right next to the Palmer, there is an information booth where you can get tickets uh, to go skiing in Purgatory. Or in the summertime, they have rides up there. Um, <clears throat> so it's supposed to be really good skiing. Ooh, the Mar Room. <laughs> so 
So this is our room. It's very authentic. This is a nice big closet. And our bathroom it has uh, authentic decor to it. And then we have a nice, a nice view of the town. So it's very nice. We're gonna try the office where the cowboys hang out. The cowgirls. Cut it dead. The straighter is that they their bars have these, this great music every night in both bars. I mean, they have these like soloists, and it's just marvelous. They put on these great melodramas in here, um, but it's a neat, really nice restaurant. I'll tell you one thing, this place has the steepest stairs. So if you have any kind of problems climbing stairs, these are really, really steep. really neat compartments um, that you can find. They're like these little hidden places. I'll show you where they are. All right, check this out. So back in the day, they used to hide their stuff. Oh, he doesn't stop doing it. There. They used to hide their guns in there. And their loot and stuff. <laughs> Not all of them do it. See, this one doesn't do it. <laughs> what is this trickery? <laughs> Some of them do it. Not all of them do it. See, that one doesn't do it. It's just that one. <laughs> What about one of those little, like, female pistol guns? Derringer. Derringer. <laughs> See, I'm all full of, full of all sorts of surprises. So, supposedly, there's a secret drawer here underneath the stairs. Oh. Uh, that's pretty cool. So I just found another compartment. There's nothing in there, is there? I don't see anything in there. This one's by the fireplace. Okay, we found the other one. So, so you have to push on it to open it? <laughs> so, Pretty cool. I want you to see seriously how steep these stairs are. I have been, I'm on the third floor, 
So I pretty much have taken them up and down the whole time I was here. They do have an elevator, but you want to get your exercise in, you go up and down these stairs. I mean, really, look at that angle. What the hotel looked like back in the day. What was that? I used, to, I used to have stuff hanging from it. Hmm. That's really cool in here. They have, uh, they sell art in here, but they have these old phone booths. I mean, look at these things. They have a blower. So when you would shut the door, sounds like the blower still works. But aren't these cool? Yeah, you can still hear the blower going on when you shut the door. Original wood and everything. Pretty cool. This corset supposedly was found under the bed of the room that Lillian Russell was staying in. Lillian Russell was a very famous singer and actor at the end of the 1800s, early 1900s, and I guess she stayed in the hotel and she left this behind. So we're literally walking behind the straighter right now. We're actually going over to the Palmer House, which we've stayed in before. And as you can see, the tracks are right behind us, which is actually really cool. Even though it can be noisy, the train doesn't go in the middle of the night, but it's really fun to see the train go by. And especially right now, because they have the Polar Express going. So they totally emulate the movie for the kids. And how fun is that? It is an awesome hotel, just like the Strader is. They're my two favorite hotels here. I do recommend either one. Um, the Strader has a little bit more activity. That's these back rooms that we stayed in. I wasn't real thrilled with our room. It was just kind of a weird setup, and there was no elevator back there, so we had to carry all our stuff up the stairs. But this right here, is where you pick up the train, so you can't ask for a better location. But the Strader is not that much further. It's only a block down the street. The last time we were here in the summertime, up on top there was quite the scene. This bar up here was packed, and there was a band in here. And it was the happening place to go. So, hands down, my favorite thing while I was here in Durango is the train. You must do the train. It is a little costly, but it really is worth it. In the summertime, they go all the way up to Silverton and back. In the wintertime, they do not. The food here in Durango is out of this world. I have never had a bad meal. There's just a little something for everybody. Um, it is a little expensive in some places, so really shop around. And the bars are absolutely wonderful. It's fun to just walk up and down uh, Main Street and go to the different bars. And some are like old time saloons and some are very modern. Um, there's a lot of... <laughs> well, that scared me. <laughs> there are a lot of rooftop bars also. In the summertime, there are a lot of fun. Also, definitely check out the Railroad Museum. It's free and there's a lot of fun stuff in there for the kids and you can't beat that. So as far as hotels go, you can be staying in a nostalgic place like the General Palmer House or the Strader Hotel. Both are great hotels and are so historic. And they're right next to each other and they're right next to the train. Also, we noticed that the Doubletree Hotel, which is down on the river, was very popular. We didn't get a chance to go over there and check it out, but compared to the other hotels, it was packed in that parking lot. When I looked at it on the, the, on the map, I noticed it sits right on the river and has a beer garden. So you might want to check that out if you're looking for a little more modern conveniences. Not that these historic hotels don't have modern conveniences, but they're all antiques and the piping is old and it just may not be for you but I do recommend them they are just wonderful make sure you check out all our videos on Durango we have videos about the train being here in the winter time or the summertime so don't miss those <laughs> So they coming back from the 
polo express? Yep. I think there's anything set up up there for them? Yeah, they do. Yeah. videos on the beautiful state of Colorado.